I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rapping like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers. That notification gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to my guy, Showtime SP. We will be back in effect real soon. Saga, um, yeah, right. So, uh, do you want to have this conversation now or do you want to have it later? I mean, we can do whatever you want to do, but you battled Holmesy to God and you was picked as one of the favorites to go far in this tournament. You know, to get the cash and win, you know, uh -huh. you lost that known people couldn't see, wait to see you rap again. Uh-huh, you and Holmesy had a tragic end. Well, not for you. He won. You got your ass whooped again. I, I'm, I'm starting to wonder, was a lot of the talk and the hype for you just hype? Because... How do you go from a battle with Mike P where you were choking, you were stumbling, you were all over the place, and then you come back in another battle and you get 50 You got 50 You lost 4-0 to the judges and you lost the fan vote. Y'all want to know what happened? I'm going to tell you what happened. He got smoked. You got smoked again. Now it's a trend. The first one, it was, a, you know, it could have been an anomaly. Get your, get over here. You going to, we going to talk today. How you get smoked again? Like again, Holmesy w washed the floor with you. You lost, clearly fucked up my bracket and everything else by getting washed. You didn't just fuck up my bracket, Loso fucked up my bracket too. So you know what I'm saying? The horseman got horsed today. Um, so let's talk about it. Um, slippy blippy, choppy poppy. Um, you, 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 you did like a fake stutter. You did like a fake, like a fake kind of stutter, and then you like brought it back, or whatever the case may be. But the problem was, when niggas be fake, be choking and stumbling in their battles, and then use fake stump, you got everybody on edge, like, oh my god, I know this nigga not about to start doing this shit again. And then you did it again. Yeah, you did it again. You're gonna be fucking around battling on the crucible, my nigga, because you don't have the kind of stock to be so surfing in your battles and shit and think they're just gonna keep putting you on bigger card, bigger card, bigger card. You're gonna be battling against some nigga we never, you're gonna be battling them niggas in Pelican Bay fucking around with this shit and you my man too, but I got to give it to you how I got to give it to you because I wouldn't be true if I ain't do what I do. Um, Holmesy to God, I'm gonna give you a lot of props, admiration, and respect. I did say you was, you was nice, I said you had bars, I said you get busy, but I said you ain't had that breakout performance yet. But you did today, but you did today. You did it today. Oh, you did it today. You had that performance today. Bracket buster. Bracket buster. Your bracket buster. You did it today. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you did you did that much. You did that much. I mean, Saga, what the fuck was you thinking, my nigga? I mean, <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. I'm just, I, I'm so shocked. I'm not, I, I don't even know. You know, you could expect the unexpected nowadays. Fucking none of just beat Loso. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it like he's not capable of doing it. But you got beat, beat. Like, beat, beat, beat. You might have got the worst weapon besides Luigi today. Like, you got your ass whooped. And the flow was like, you had like, you was like, kind of prepared. But Holmes, he was like over prepared. Like he watched every single recap of niggas saying he was gonna lose. And he took that shit out on you. And he took you out. He took you out. He got you the fuck out of here. You gotta go. He said, hey man, don't pack, pack light. I told you some of you niggas gotta pack light. Danny Myers, highly impressed me. Uh, Emerson Kennedy, highly impressed me. They got busy. Helped me move on and get the other guy out the way. So, you know, I move on in that tournament. But come on, we knew that was gonna happen. Um, but. I mean, sheesh, Saga, what was you thinking, boy? What was you thinking, my boy? What was you thinking, my boy? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm shocked again. And now, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, I'm a, I, a lot of that hype and a lot of the thoughts and shit that I had about you, they, they start to go away a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Um, it, it, it is, it is what it is. I mean, golly, come on, dog. 
Come on. Like, bro. <laughs> anyway. Um, franchise versus Tink the Demon. Um, franchise versus Tink the Demon. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, and Saga got 50. He lost all three judges, lost the fan vote, and, uh, you know, it, it, it just was what it was. Uh, franchise versus Tink the Demon. Uh, I ain't going to lie to you, though. Uh, franchise was franchise. You know what I'm saying? He was definitely doing the franchise thing. Um, but the thing is, Tink the Demon was coming back off of not being around for a minute. So it was we hadn't seen him. And we kind of, like, wanted to know what he was going to bring. And... He was very winded. He kind of like so his rounds. Tink's rounds sound like he ran all the way from fucking Boston, Massachusetts to wherever the event was taking place in Virginia, some shit like that. He was very winded, uh, but he got the win. And the thing is, is because with franchise sometimes he don't really be elevating. You know what I'm saying? Like he be like the Thule Blaze, shot him in the chest. He going down doing the little Uzi shake, and it's like we heard a lot of his shits before. But uh, this nigga Tink started blacking in his second round. He said, I'm so vivid. I go get it. You shook every man hand you like and went rogue with it. He was saying that he's like a New Jersey twerk with this nigga style and this person. Like, Tink the Demon, for his first battle back, I'm not going to lie. I was really feeling what he had going on. Uh, he got the win. If any battle of the night, I could be like, I don't know. I kind of had franchise 2 1, but I see. I picked franchise on my bracket. Tink busted the bracket. I'm cool with that. But I had lost. Once none, none lost, beat low, so my bracket was done anyway. But I did win enough to go on in the <laughs> media joint, so it's cool. I'm good. It's a good day. But uh, what I will say is um, he got kind of busy. Tink the Demon, he, he to be gone for such a long time. It was good to see him come back, good to see him jump back in that bag and things like that. And I was pretty proud of him and seeing what he was able to do because the man been away. Um, franchise had a fire bar about uh, we couldn't even do the face off because you don't have an iPhone. At least said something like you've been gone for three years and still couldn't FaceTime or some shit like that. But you got to level up when it's for 25 grand, B. You got to level up. And I think the level up for some of these cats just was not there. The level up, you gotta, you gotta take it to none, none leveled up. Homesy the God leveled up. Danny Myers been up there, so you ain't even got to worry about him. Ryder leveled up and unfortunately came up short, but he did level up. Wavy, even though it wasn't the craziest performance, did level. I mean, the performance was crazy, but the bars wasn't super, super wild. Like, oh, whoa, he still leveled up a little bit. And that's the thing. As long as you do better than the person that's in front of you, you're going to win. Now, did did Franchise... Franchise felt like he was up. After his first round, he was like 1-0. Second round, he's like, I'm up 2-0. He felt like he was winning. And a lot of people probably felt the same. But overall, uh, it was... It, it, it didn't go well. But Saga... My nigga, man. You didn't only lose, like, you clearly lost. Like, I... When they, when they was doing, like, the polls and shit, I didn't even have to watch it. I'm like, damn, this nigga got his ass whooped again. Like, god damn. Like, I already knew, like, oh. But you know what? I don't think the tournament style bar brackets is for everybody. Like, some people need preparation, need months to battle, need time to do what they got to do. That little fast, quick hit and shit, it's made for people like Danny Myers. It's made for people like Bill Collector. That's the reason why they won. They're prepared and they know how to entertain I got this L. So yo, Saga, you just sent me the L. I got to send it back to you. Don't worry. I'll get it out to you by Monday. Um, but some people are made for that tournament style, that quick hit and boom, 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 bat battle, battle, battle. You're not made for that. I think that we should all know our limitations. And, um, you know, uh, it was it was, it was was <laughs> pack light. I tell you, niggas, pack light because you ain't going to be here long. I hope you didn't. I hope you just went with a carry on. You know what I'm saying? Because you can skip the baggage fees. Some of you niggas, you know, even in the media tournament. I hope he packed light, because he ain't going to be here long. Um, salute to the subscribers, that notification game. You know, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> you know, I don't give a fuck if I'm top eight, top five, or top three. I don't talk about or watch these niggas. They watch me. Gang shit. Salute to my man Showtime SP. You dig? Everybody, this is your boy Nate Drink from the Nate Drink One Sports Podcast channel. And I wanted to stop by and ask you for your support and your help on my channel and also on my show channel at A Drink of Wisdom. 
I drop new episodes every Saturday, and you can catch me on all the social media platforms under Nate Drink One. And with that said, here go a quick snippet of one of my most recent shows. Thanks for your support, and remember, let's talk some sports, baby. And and I'm out. NFL has banned jersey exchanges between players for the 2020 season. What do you think of that policy, Drink? So let me get this right. So these players could spend two to three hours trading blood, saliva, sweat, but the straw that breaks the camel back is if they swap jerseys at the end of the game. Give me a break. This is stupid. Just stupid. What are we talking about here? Hey, come on. Cut me. Get the, get the hell out of here.